Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. In this video we are going to be building ourselves a warp drive. Now this is uh it's been called a warp drive. You can call it a warp drive. You can call it a star drive. You can call it a quantum drive. Uh, but we're going to try and I'll show you the basics of how to build yourself a quantum drive or a warp drive or whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to start with a basic space seat here and a couple of our 2x4 squares. And we're going to throw a servo and another servo. We just want to set these servos so that they're rotating in towards each other. So if we're looking at it from the front here, we want this one to be rotating in red. So we'll set that to space. We'll get rid of D. We want maximum speed, maximum angle, and we want it to hold position. This one here is going to be on the green rotating inwards. Now, I'm not sure if this is some kind of a play on the torque or if this is just a weird function of the quantum rudders, but uh, this is how they behave. I've tried it with helicopter blades rather than the quantum rudders, and it has zero effect, so I'm assuming it's a property of the quantum rudders themselves. So once we have a setup like this, our servos are set to rotate inwards towards each other, we're just going to drop a deuce right on the end here, one on either side. We only need one for now. Again, we're just keeping minimum weight and our quantum rudders. So let's just put a quantum rudder on this side, quantum rudder on that side. We'll copy these over to this side, like that. And then uh, we'll hold down left control, double click here, select all of our quantum rudders. And we want to remove all of the controls. We want to set strength to maximum, turn rate to zero. And there we go. There is your quantum drive. So we'll hit space. Woo! Look at us go, eh? It's turbo speed. Put on your seatbelt. So here's the kicker with the quantum drives. Now, the speed, which is really weird, because this is almost, it actually reminds me of a quantum phenomenon known as entanglement where these seem to be playing against each other because they're rotating into each other but it doesn't make any difference how far apart like they are they still interact with each other so we're going to move these out by one more block and then we're going to see what that would do we haven't changed the speed the spinning nothing like that now we're going faster so, if, if that's the case, see, I've seen a lot of quantum drives where now you can take these and you could stack another, another servo. See, let's put a second servo over top of these. And now we can see big time increase in speed. Uh, we might need some gyro stabilizers on there just to keep us from nose planting into the ground. So let's do that. Put one of these on there. We'll set that to three. And we're going to put another one on there. Turn it sideways like that. And then we're going to put this one here like this on this side so that we have some up and down controls. We're going to set that to three as well. All right, let's try that. So here we are. We don't have any steering, but that's with two servos. So you can see we're doing almost 200 kilometers an hour just with those two servos. Hey, we didn't need that piece anyways, right? So my thing was, is it possible to, I mean, we can keep stacking servos, but once you start getting to four or five high, they start getting wobbly, and then you need to secure it on the top and the bottom, and now your quantum engines or your drives are getting pretty big. So we don't want them quite that large. I was going for more of a, if we use just two, just two servos, that's all, just two, nothing fancy. If we just use two, we can get, let's see, 80, almost 90 kilometers an hour. Maybe we get in the air, we get 90, almost 100. But I know that we can go faster instead of adding more servos we can add more distance between our quantum engines. 
like this. So if we do that, see now we're doing 100 on the ground, so if we can get into the air, we'll do 125, 130 maybe. So my idea was, is it possible to break the sound barrier with only two servos? So if we just keep widening this and widening this and widening this, is it just going to keep getting faster and faster and faster? Until we can finally break the sound barrier with two servos? Let's try it. So we're going to go out a whole bunch here. I'm just going to go up and I'm going to copy these two out. Lock this. Lock that. And then we need two more on this side. Like that. Put these ones down here like this. Let's see what we got for speed now. 170. Gets into the air. Almost 180. Alright. Let's make it a little wider. Shall we? 200. We get in the air a little faster in the air 250 Ooh, this thing's gonna be really wide not mean jelly bean all right and, and also remember we have zero aerodynamics on here right like we're just pushing against this flat edge so let's let's see just just for gigglies if we uh if we just put some slope on the front how much difference does that actually make Uh, 250. Oh, 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 there's a couple of missiles. See, no, nope, okay. All right, well, that helps a little bit, but uh, it would actually be more advantageous to have a little bit of weight out the back. Seems how our propellers want to push us downwards. They're slightly above our center of mass. We'll move up some weight back like that. There we go. Can't get in the air now, but I'm not too worried about getting in the air. We're still around 240, 250. All right, let's make it a little wider. All right, let's see what that does. Hot diggity, over 300. It sure would be nice to get in the air, see if I can get a little bit more, a little more speedy, speedy in the air. Here, we lift that up like that, so I can lift the nose. Oh, oh, it didn't like that. It did not like that at all. Maybe a little bit longer tail. A little bit more white at the back side, and maybe we're going to put vertical stabilizer so as we can keep going straight straight is always a good direction to go here we go so we're about 300 we don't did not go hey, hey settle that it don't want to stay in there man that's all right all right okay so we're at like 300 well wow. okay let's make it wider all right let's see what we got 400. Well, I'm surprised this thing just isn't snapping in half already. Okay, so we got to uh, I got to put a little bit of lift on here. Keep the back end down. So to do that, we're just going to put an upside down wing. Modular wing. Upside down. One here. One there. There you go. Now it's probably just going to go straight up in the air. Nope. Alright, we're going straight. We're tapping 400. Oh, and our silver servos are starting to behave weird. Very weird. They no longer connected. Look at that. They floaty floaty. Oh, look at that. Hey, edge of a map. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this with just two. So if we're doing 400 at... Watch this. This thing's just going to explode into a thousand pieces. Let's just try adding one more servo on either side. Ooh, this is going to be bad. Something tells me this thing's just going to explode as soon as I hit the space bar. Alright, but let's see. Let's see. Could be entertaining. Could be. Go! Well, I'm going to say that's a sonic boom. Uh, instantaneous sonic boom. With four servos. Wow. The running man. Is that considered success? Is that what that is? Go! No? No sonic boom that time? We're all boomed out? 
Boy, we sure got a good burst of speed out of that, eh? Oh, there he goes. Well, okay, so let's... Maybe we're a little bit too long here. Long in the tooth. Let's get rid of one. Because <laughs> that's what it is, right? Just it's one too many. It's just one too many. Like that. Here we go. And go. No, look at the wings just take off, eh? Everything just goes. Nice explosion, though. Very nice explosion. All right, little tap tap. Well, I'm going to assume that uh, we can break the sound barrier. Wait, wow, look at look how those pieces, I just love how those pieces take off. Big circles, big circles. Not fat, not 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 quite enough. Look at the size of them circle, man. I'm gonna bail out. As I bailed out, we hit the sonic boom, and there it goes. All right, well, I'm gonna call that a success. So there's how you build a warp drive with minimal servos. It's all about the distance and width. If you don't want to stack them up, you can build them nice and wide. And why is this thing just floating in the air? There we go. Groovy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something here. Go build yourself a warp drive and have some fun. And we will see you in the next one. Ciao.